Hey guys, so today I thought that I would talk to you about my vast knowledge of marathon training. So in case nobody here is aware, I am an accomplished marathon runner. I have run all of one marathon. I did it in a less than impressive time that uh, I actually can't even remember but was like four hours. And I did it with minimal to no training. So. Lay down. Lay down. You gonna lay down? Down. Down. Lay down. Oh my god almighty. <laughs> I'm good. I'm sure that you're all dying to hear how exactly I managed to accomplish such a wonderful dedicated result. And it's my pleasure to share that with you right now. My very first marathon, I won my H division. That is not a lie, that is a true fact. And I was totally unprepared. And as I said earlier, my time was not impressive at all. It's way easier to run your age, to win your age division in a marathon than like a 5K or a 10K because just way fewer people run marathons. <laughs> I was competing against like, I think two other people who were in the category that I was in versus like hundreds or thousands of people in my category in 5, 10, and probably even the half. Like, let's be realistic. There's no way that if I had signed up for and ran a half marathon at Maritime Race Weekend that I would have won my age division either. Um, so shout out to those two other girls who were in my age division who ran the marathon but did it slower than me because now I can forever say that the very first time I ran a marathon, I won my age division. No, oh, Reginald. All right. So let's get started with the basics. First of all, I was not running with any consistency really when I decided that I was gonna run a marathon. I had kind of traded consistent running for CrossFit. Um, three steps. That's all right, ladies and gentlemen. Three steps are all that you need to check off of your list in order to just absolutely crush your first marathon. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what those three steps are because I nailed my first marathon, that's for sure. So the first phase is training. I figured out my training plan. Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready. By Googling, how can you train for a marathon while doing the least amount of running possible? Yes, that is correct. That is how I found my run plan. And the run plan I found was called the less is more run plan. It was three days of running and then three days of just like alternate workouts. Um, let me tell you right now that the less is more run plan was the dream. I felt like I never ran, which I think is exactly how you're supposed to feel while training for a marathon. I, when I think back to my marathon training, I literally feel like I crossfitted more than I ran heavy mileage. So that'll tell you how successful that plan is. Um, no, I'm not saying it won't work for anybody, but uh, like I, it did work. I did get through a marathon, um, but I would never use it again. No. Um, I had no like ideal finish time. I had no pacing plan. I had no fueling plan, no hydration plan. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm actually only still alive because at like mile 32, I think, Maritime Race Weekend actually had a station that had like granola bars and gels in it. And I took one and guzzled it down. And it gave me like, I don't wanna say it gave me life back, but it gave me enough energy to keep putting one foot in front of the other to the finish line. Um, yeah, my goals for this marathon were so low that when I came to a water station that had greyhounds at it, I literally 
paused my run watch and sat down on the pavement and pet the greyhounds for like I don't even know how long but um that is not a successful way to get a PR in a marathon whatsoever uh, but really fun and I would 10 out of 10 suggest it oh, no, no, no. Phase two of my marathon was my mental game. So throughout my marathon training plan, my mind was like an iron trap. I was mentally so strong that I can only remember five long runs where I was absolutely sobbing by the end of them and two very specific thoughts in my full marathon on race day where I was also actually sobbing once so heavily that the race photographer was like, hey, I'm not gonna take your picture. This is so embarrassing for you. There's another photographer like up the road in 3K if you can pull yourself together. So my mental game, I'm gonna break down exactly how I was so successful in my marathon mentally. So I planned my run like this. I'm gonna run with my mom for so far, she was doing the half, and then at one point she was gonna turn left and I was gonna go right and keep going to like more mileage. So I'm running, I'm having like just everything's going great, and I look down at my watch and I see 21.1k. Now important note, my mental plan was to this doesn't even make sense. Now that I'm trying to film it, I can't even put the words together to tell you what my mental plan was. So my mental plan was to run a half marathon because I had done that like five or six times by this point. And then once the half was over, just like mentally be prepared to run a second half, which isn't the best plan whatsoever because when my watch hit 21, 0.1 kilometers. I remember looking down at it and it was hot and I was in the woods on a trail and I thought to myself, if I had have just ran the half marathon, this hell would be over by now. And as soon as I finished that thought internally to myself, I proceeded to cry. Just openly sob while running through the trails in wherever Maritime Race Weekend is held. And uh, thankfully there were not a lot of people in the marathon, so I sobbed while running through a trail all by myself. There were no witnesses, except for that photographer. <sighs> all right, so the next thing that I just 100% did absolutely right in preparing for a marathon was um, the night before. So everyone always talks about just how important the night before is in a marathon. And I just want to say that out of all of my aspects of training, I nailed the night before. Okay? All right. So here's what we did. Do you remember, Penny? So my mother and I raced a 5K the night before my marathon. And then we went to Boston Pizza and ate our body weight in pasta hydrated really well, and then proceeded to stay up late and not get a good night's sleep. Following the race night, the eve of the race success story, we set our alarms to be prepared to go run our race. I was so excited that I got the start time wrong. My mother and I got to the race site a whole ass hour earlier than the race time started. So that was awesome. That was great. When we pulled into the race site an hour early. So those are my three steps to a successful marathon. Training, gold star. Phase two. I can't even remember what I just said phase two was to you guys, but also definitely gold star. And three, night before and race day prep. 
absolutely crushed it out of the ballpark. Just at no regrets, none, nailed it. So all of this to say that if you are just so ready to crush your first marathon, those are my suggestions, 100%, like for sure. That is the best way to run a marathon.